through this morning, a federal program that pays for COVID testing and treatment for those who don't have insurance ends tonight. They run out of money. Leaders in Washington have not been able to reach a deal on COVID relief funding. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Audley joins us live from outside the UC Health campus with a look at how this will impact us here. Good morning, Madeline. Julie, good morning. This federal program reimburses medical providers when they test or treat someone for COVID-19 who doesn't have health insurance. It is set to end tonight, but a local leader tells me there's still going to be a lot of places where you'll be able to go to get free testing, including right here at UC Health. There are so many places that are providing testing and vaccine, you know, pharmacies, other small health centers. So if you look at the map of where testing is being done, it's it's all over the place. In Hamilton County, that's because of the test and protect program. If you live or you work in the county, there are dozens of places you can get tested for free. The county has spent millions on this with the Health Collaborative and has conducted more than half a million tests already. Now, when it comes to treatment, she says there is other funding that supports uninsured patients too. Still, an official with the Health Collaborative says if federal programs dry up, it could strain local resources. Many of those programs had uh, specific amount of dollars that they expected to last them a certain period of time. And those dollars may be utilized quicker now that you can't bill up to that intermediary program. The federal COVID relief money was cut out of a broad budget bill the president signed last week. Congress couldn't agree on it. This reimbursement program also covers the cost of COVID vaccines for people who don't have health insurance. Those reimbursements are set to end in early April. Now, keep in mind, local public health departments are still providing the COVID-19 vaccine at no cost. If you need help finding that free testing or free vaccine, you can just visit testandprotectcincy.com, and this website is going to have really all the information that you're looking for. Reporting live at UC Health, Madeline Ottilie, WCPO 9 News.